steps that need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that Hi, hello, good morning. How are you guys doing? It is a beautiful day here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. It is like sunny and what's the temperature? 65 sunny and 65 baby the sun is actually really strong so i do not know what i'm gonna wear today i do need to change before i go anywhere I'm wearing my favorite oh i just snapped my own bra strap <laughs> um i'm wearing my favorite sweatshirt of the moment which is my no tears left to cry ariana grande sweatshirt because obviously um lucy and i are sitting here on the bed hello I have some errands to run today, so I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. I've been doing a lot more vloggy type things, mostly because so much is going on behind the scenes right now. Um, we're, I'll have to fill you guys in probably in an upcoming video, but truly there's just so much happening. Good things are happening and we're just trying to sort out kind of a couple things right now. Um, all good things, but we're, you know, just figuring things out. So I haven't done a lot of like travel specific videos as far as like travel guides or travel vlogs for the Charlotte area yet, but some of my upcoming videos will be um, to different cities in the area. I think I might be going somewhere this week, maybe two places this week that I can share with you guys. So that would be really fun. But I hope that at least these little videos of me bebopping around Charlotte, at least will show you a couple recommendations that are fun. So I don't know, we'll see what's happening. I also have been thinking so I've been interested in doing a reaction channel. I actually started another reaction channel and I posted two videos, but then we ended up deciding to move. And then that was kind of shelved because I had so much to do. So I want to do videos of me kind of learning the BTS universe. Love BTS, any army out there? I love them. So I kind of love the idea of reacting to the videos of the storyline and just kind of reacting to BTS videos in general. I've seen some of them, not all of them. I don't know the whole storyline. Um, and just kind of adding a little bit more of things like that. Some of my other interests to this channel. I don't know if it makes sense to do it on this channel, but I kind of was thinking instead of having a separate reaction channel, maybe I just add a day a week sometimes where I'll add kind of a bonus video. Um, maybe related to music, pop culture, BTS, something like that. Things that I'm interested in besides traveling. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if that's something that you guys would like to see. I'm gonna try really hard to get back on my Tuesday and Thursday upload schedule. I've only been uploading on Tuesdays for the last couple of weeks. So I'm hoping that I'll be back on schedule with two videos a week minimum soon. So yeah, I'm really excited to go out in Charlotte today. I have some errands to run. We're gonna go to Target because I gotta do a return and buy uh, lighters to light my candles. And then what else do I need to do? Oh, I have to go to the mall. My favorite place on this planet. I love a good mall. If you guys have been following me and watching my videos for a while, you know that I love the mall. It's like my favorite place. And this mall is so nice. It is the best mall. It's the South Park Mall in Charlotte. Amazing mall. So I'm gonna get lunch there <laughs> and I need to run to the tempur store to go to a sale. This is all so interesting, isn't it? It's just like so fascinating what my life is. Um, so I just need to run a couple errands at the mall. And first we're gonna go to a coffee shop though. I don't know what order I'm putting up these vlogs that I've made recently, but let me tell you, not just coffee in Charlotte has hands down the best iced latte I've ever had. The iced caramel latte, they make all of their syrups there. Um, they're all homemade. Oh my gosh, the iced caramel latte is literally a game changer. So I'm gonna go get that. So basically we have a fun, busy day. And then I was thinking I might stop at Whole Foods to get some wild salmon if they have it because I wanna make the Emily Mariko TikTok salmon meal. I've made it once before. It is divine, worth the hype. So I think I'm gonna try to get that. So basically I'm just bringing you guys with me to do all of these super exciting, fun things. And I'll show you some Charlotte things along the way. So. Can't wait to eat mall bourbon chicken with you guys. So let me get changed and we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> I'm in the car. I decided not to change because like, honestly, I just can't be bothered today. I am getting a very late start. It's almost noon. I wanted to leave at like 9.30 this morning, but I just been chilling with Lucy. It's a little bit of a drive because where we're living right now is on the opposite side of Charlotte. We're living north of Charlotte and this mall is on the south side. So it's a little bit of a drive, I think it's gonna take me like 30 minutes. I actually haven't even looked it up. But we're gonna get coffee first, like I said. 
I don't know if you've noticed, you probably haven't. I am not in my car. So basically, Barish went to Orlando this weekend with his friend from Music Festival. And so he drove our car down there. So my parents are letting me use their Camry to drive around town while he's gone. Thanks, mom and dad. That's a whole other side story. Barish and I are starting to look into, entertain the idea of getting another car because I think we're gonna need to, I mean, we're gonna need to, even eventually, like family-wise, we're gonna need to, but that's a whole other side story for a different time. Maybe later today when I'm making my salmon. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, no, Barish took our car to Orlando. I'm driving this car, so I, I mean, why am I telling you that? Okay, that was a stupid story, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go to the mall. I mean, literally, you guys, I'm wearing a sweatsuit. Who am I? Like, what? I put on earrings and actually, like, I'm like, it's a cute outfit. It's it's not, I'm wearing a sweatsuit. It's black sweatpants on the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. I just, I honestly couldn't be bothered because I really want to get home fast. I'm gonna run these errands and then I want to get home and just spend the night chilling with Lucy on the couch. So that sweet angel baby. So let's see how far this mall is. 45 minutes. Okay, that's really far. We're still going. That's really far, there's a lot of traffic. Okay, 45 minutes. Cool, 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 okay. just got my iced caramel latte from Natchez Coffee. I swear you guys, they have to put crack in this because it tastes so good. And I literally want it every single day. Oh my God. You know what it actually tastes like, Chicago people? It tastes very similar to the iced caramel latte at the coffee studio in Andersonville in Chicago, which is one of my favorite Chicago coffee shops. But low key, this one's better. I don't know if they make a homemade syrup at the coffee studio. I feel like they do for it to taste like similar to this, but this is made by them. It is so good, I literally can't explain it. Like I think this is one of my favorite ice lattes I've ever had in my life. It is so good. I also decided since I'm ravenous, we're gonna pregame my uh, Asian chicken at the mall lunch. And I got this incredible looking cookie. It is a chocolate chip sea salt cookie. Listen, I'm really picky about cookies. I usually never take a risk on getting a cookie out anywhere because they're just never what I need them to be. My sister is a phenomenal baker. She makes the best chocolate chip cookies, and I do not say that lightly, the best chocolate chip cookies on this planet. Everything she makes is delicious. So I have very high standards for cookies, but we're gonna try this. I was drawn to the salt. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, wait, that's actually really good. The texture is very good. Crisp on the outside, chewy on the inside. Wow, it's actually really good. I'm actually really shocked. Also, sorry for all the dogs barking in the background. I don't know if there's like a doggy daycare over here, but they're barking up a storm. Who let the dogs out, am I right? <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> I talked all that crap only to love it. Classic, classic Christy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is the Notches Coffee on J Street in Charlotte. I actually really like this coffee shop, this particular location. Um, it has a huge indoor seating area, lots of outdoor seating, lots of spaces to sit and get some things done. Mama like. Okay, I'm gonna finish this cookie and we're going to the mall. home now. I'm in my bathroom. If the audio sounds weird, it is because I'm in my bathroom. So basically <laughs> this vlog turned out to be kind of a fail. I was going to vlog a lot more at the mall. And then as it turns out, the mall was super crowded, like jam packed with people. And I feel super awkward filming things, obviously with my camera at the mall, just cause that's, that's who I am. Um, but I didn't even think about, I feel like 
because the weather is still so nice here and because we've had so much going on lately, I didn't even think about the fact that like people are gonna be out Christmas shopping and everything is gonna be jam packed because people are Christmas shopping. The other way that I failed is that I was going to go to a restaurant tonight for dinner and show you guys a place I've never been to before. But I ate my uh, Chinese food at the mall <laughs> so late that I am not even hungry yet. Which of course will then turn into me having snacks at like 9 p.m. instead of actually eating dinner, which is cute. But I probably should just make something light now, but we'll see what I do after I film this. Basically, I'm so ready to take a shower. I'm so ready to take off my makeup and wash my face. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what I got at the mall. It's like nothing exciting. Literally, I got my pillows from Tempur-Pedic. I've talked about them so much that I have to show them to you. One moment. <laughs> you guys, can you even deal? This is the, <laughs> I love that I'm doing like a pillow unboxing. This is peak lame person influencing vibes. Okay, it's the Pro High Cooling Medium. It's a cooling pillow. It's like memory foam, so it's firm but soft. Great for side sleepers. <laughs> so that's what I got. I got one for me, one for Barish. They were having a buy one, get one free sale today. So <laughs> got two for the price of one. <laughs> Let's put it over here. This is like the last thing that I needed, but I got it anyway. <sighs> These perfumes smell so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I got this perfume from Urban Outfitters. I went in there and I swear, it's like I go in there and I realize that I'm like too old to shop there or something because I don't really like, get it anymore. When I was younger, Urban Outfitters was also like the cool place to shop. I love shopping there, um, but everything there now, I don't know, I guess it's just always for younger people. So like Gen Z would be pulling off all of the clothes in there. Whereas I feel like I'm kind of like not as into it now. Um, not to sound like a total g but everything looks like vintage inspired or looks like vintage, but then it's like crazy expensive. I saw this really cute pink tote bag, like literally a basic tote bag. And it had a felt little smiley face in one corner of the front of the bag. It was like $30. I'm sitting there thinking about this and I'm like, am I old? I feel like these are like grandma thoughts to be having, but it's fine. I don't like that they put this little sticker on the side of it because now it's left to mark, but we will deal with it later. Basically every single time I've gone to Urban Outfitters recently, which has been like thrice, I have picked up these perfumes. I don't even know what the brand is. Par True Fragrance. I don't know. It looks like this. And they all smell unreal. I got the Miel Bebe, which I don't know. Bebe is obviously baby, but what does Miel mean in French? I don't know. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> Sorry. It literally is heavenly. It smells incredible. So I got this. I think this was like $18. I've been really into perfume lately. I don't know why. I just all of a sudden I'm like obsessed with perfume. I might have also gotten one at Lush today. One moment, please. So I went into Lush because I got a little present for my sister because she is coming to visit. And I wanted to have a little greeting gift for her, a little welcome gift, if you will. So I'm not gonna, I just got her like one of the holiday ones. But what I got for Barish and I, I think this was called Sleepy Time. It's a bubble bar in the shape of a cloud. It's so cute. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm really excited to use this. It's adorable. I saw it when I was in there like a couple weeks ago. I was like, oh, gotta come back for that. Um, it's all over my hands, okay. But I also got one of their perfumes, which I've also wanted for a really long time. It is the Sun perfume. It just smells so fruity and refreshing. I really don't discriminate when it comes to fragrance smells and what kind of notes it has. Like this one, I don't know, how, I'm not gonna try to describe it because I don't know how to describe it. It just smells really amazing. This one though is kind of like, obviously a little earthier because it's from Lush, but it smells ugh, like oranges and sandalwood. I just like feel like if I wear this, I'll be like sunshine. So that's like the goal to be like the sun. So I got that, my bad. The only other thing I got at the mall was actually really boring. I got just black leggings from H&M. I'm 98% sure these are the same ones that I 
bought previously that I really like. And since they're only $9.99, I was like, I'm gonna get two more pairs because I only have one and I wear them all the time. So I just got two more pairs of leggings, which is a really boring purchase, but I do need to try them on to make sure that they're the ones that I already have. Then I went to Target. I might have bought books that I didn't need to buy. I'll show you what I got. I went to Target to return the other pillows that we didn't like, and I needed to get lighters for candles. And of course I left with like a bag of Christmas peppermint patties. And I also got two mystery books. I got Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell, and I got The Madness of Crowds by Louise Penny. Both of these authors, I have read other books by them before. They both write mysteries slash thrillers. They're so good. I love both of their books so much. So I can't wait to read these. Oh, hey Louise, what's up girl? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited to read these. And that's basically all I got. I guess that's it. <laughs> is that it? Um, what an anticlimactic end to this video. This is classic. Um, I'm gonna work really hard on getting you guys some actual like travel videos coming soon. I think I'm gonna be going to Raleigh next week, potentially Wilmington. I wanna get a couple more trips planned. We're also going to Chicago for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to film some Chicago content while I'm there. I literally can't wait. I already don't know what restaurants to eat at because I'm like, Christy, you should try new things, but you obviously have to go to some of your favorites. So it's already overwhelming, but I'm so excited to go back and I cannot wait, especially to make like a Christmas Chicago video. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe below. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.